Mail merges let us send customized messages to contacts in our pipeline or by uploading a CSV all at once. This helps us scale up our outreach and save time on emails and follow-up. In this lesson, we'll learn two ways to create a personalized mail merge, how to test messages before sending them, and some pro tips for using this feature. Mail merges send a single message to a list of people without using the CC or BCC fields. Each person on our list will receive a separate email addressed to them, so they won't see any other recipients on the message. We can customize the message with variables, and since there's no formatting or streak branding, it will look like a personalized email straight from you to the recipient. Each mail merge we send also has email tracking enabled, so we can use that data to follow up or take action on the message. The first way to create a mail merge is right from our pipeline. Just check the boxes that we want to include in our mail merge, or check an entire stage, and click the mail merge icon at the top of our pipeline. Keep in mind that we can send up to 1,500 messages per day with the Streak Pro plan and a G Suite account. Please see the related article below for more details and how specific Google and Streak plan types affect your daily sending limit. We could also use a saved view to target specific boxes. For example, we could filter for boxes that haven't had any interaction in seven days and send a follow-up email. Once we start the mail merge, we'll have our compose window and a recipient list to the right. Streak automatically pulls in the email addresses of our Streak contacts in each box. We could also choose to send the mail merge to starred contacts in a box, or select a custom contact column, like the column we set up to track who is a decision maker for each lead. We could also use any other column that has the email addresses, but we recommend using Streak contacts. Check out the previous lessons on contacts and organizations to learn more. Next, we'll fill out the subject and email body of our message. This is where we can start having fun with personalization. Streak lets us use any of our column or contact data as variables in the message. Click Insert Variable at the bottom of the draft and choose how we want to personalize our message. We can scroll over the list of recipients to preview how it will look for each person. Including variables can help us deliver a custom message, and our recipients will think we wrote it just for them. Streak lets us know if there are any errors with the variables, like missing data for a certain contact, so we can fix it before hitting send. We can fix individual errors to fill in unique information for each recipient, or we can add a fallback option that will apply to all recipients that have this error. Fixing individual errors saves the update to the contact or pipeline so we won't run into the error in the future. Mail Merge also works really well with our Snippets feature, which we explored in the previous lesson. We can add a snippet to fill in the subject line and email body, or we can create a snippet from this draft, including the variables, so we can use it again in a Mail Merge. If we want to include an image in the body of our Mail Merge, we'll need to host the image publicly. See the instructions in the related article below to learn how. Before sending, we can see a test copy of the mail merge in our own inbox to double check for formatting, images, and more. To send a test, click on a recipient to view the mail merge for that specific person and click Get Test Copy. Streak will send this version of the mail merge to our inbox so we can review. Sometimes we have a special case where we want to send a completely custom or separate message to a recipient. Maybe we just met with them yesterday and we want to reference the conversation. Click on them in the list and click Customize Text and Attachments. This will remove that recipient from the mail merge and open a copy of the message that we can edit in a regular email draft. When the mail merge is ready, just hit Send. The second way to send a mail merge is by uploading a CSV file. Begin by composing a new email draft and choose Mail Merge to the right of the To field. Click Upload CSV to select a file. At a minimum, the CSV needs to include a column for our recipient's emails. If we want to use variables in the Mail Merge, add a column for each piece of data, like first name, business name, product interest, or whatever else we need. Make sure we have a header row to name the columns so we can reference them in the mail merge variables. 
Once we've uploaded our CSV, it's the same process to create the mail merge. The only difference is that we'll use the section variables from CSV file to customize our message with variables. Now that we've sent a mail merge, there are a few ways we can track results and take action with our leads. The boxes in our saved view are still checked off after sending the mail merge, so this is a great time to move them to a different stage in bulk. Then we can use our email tracking magic columns to see who opened our last email in each box and when. These columns update in real time, so we can check back and follow up again with engaged leads. In the next lesson, we'll learn more about email tracking and those magic columns. But before we move on, it's important to keep in mind some responsible email practices when we're sending mail merges. As we can see in the test mail merge that we sent to ourselves earlier in this video, there's no unsubscribe link. It looks just like a regular email. Keep this in mind as you send messages to your contacts. It's a good idea to only send relevant information to people you've already been in contact with or who have requested to receive information from you. This will help you avoid being marked as spam or bumping up against Google's spam policies. You can learn more about this and some best practices in the related articles below. Now that we're ready to scale up our outreach with mail merges, head over to the next lesson to learn about tracking our email views in Streak.